The Bulls fire occurred on September 15th, uh, 2014, and it was a rapidly moving fire driven uh, by wind. With 30 to 40 mile an hour winds, in working in a circular motion, it became one of the hottest fires at Cal Fire and our people have ever fought. It uh, took 14 crews, over 450 firemen, to fight the Bulls fire here and, uh, and contain it. That consumed approximately 553 acres and 157 homes and uh, 10 commercial structures. It uh, was very devastating to the community if it hadn't been for our students, uh, current students, along with ones that had gone through the program, I think the whole town would have been burned to the ground. I hope that I never see anything like that in my career again, and I'm doing everything that I can to help um, train the fire service um, and so that they can learn from it for the future. College of Siskiyous is in, uh, up on the northern end of California. It is uh, located in Weed, California with a branch campus in Wairika, California. We have approximately 2,600 students and it uh, offers a full slate of classes with the uh, signature programs being in uh, fire technology, police academy, uh, nursing, and uh, manufacturing. What is unique about the College of Siskiyou is our, our close uh, partnership and collaboration with CAL FIRE. CAL FIRE provides us with equipment, fire engines, and a lot of expertise in their uh, adjunct faculty and uh, provide the training techniques that we have here at the college that helps us fight the wildfires as well as preparing our community for any disasters. The strengths of the College of the Siskiyous Fire Technology Program allows our students to become educated both in the classroom and uh, builds basic skills for, from the fire academy. So that the local governments and uh, CAL FIRE actually can pick from those students, they're educated and ready to work. The College of the Siskiyous Fire Technology Program, I believe, is the best. Um, I am uh, a little biased, uh, having come through the College of the Siskiyous program myself, uh, but honestly I've seen how the program has evolved over the last uh, many years, um, and it, it actually produces some incredible uh, individuals, some, some highly trained individuals that uh, are designed for success. They, they are trained for success. Some of the, the education that happens here at College of the Siskiyous, which impacted the Bulls fire, was that the students learned uh, mobile attacks, which is having a, uh, stepping in front of the fire engine as it's traveling to slow down the fire, uh, fire spread. Also, uh, progressive hose lays, where the engines can't get where they need to be, and so the firefighters grab those hoses, extend them to help protect not only the wildland, but what we call the urban interface, which is the structure protection that has to occur uh, to slow the, basically the rapid spread of that fire in order for us to save the homes that are here. We almost lost our largest employer, Roseburg Forest Products. There was a huge fire on that, uh, on that site, and our battalion chief, Darren Quigley, fought the fire with our students from our program, along with the firefighters that came in, and as a result, they saved the plant but he lost his own home that he could see burning from the uh, area where he was putting the fire out. The biggest thing I think that I learned uh, to appreciate is how important our college is to the community and how important uh, each individual person is. You know, they worked as a group. It was no I, it was all we, and, and it was a great team approach. So having taught collaboration, communication, organization, management in our programs along with all the best techniques that were available to us to teach at that time uh, made me feel very happy and I was very proud that that I was a small part of this school that it helped could support the program.